Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back. And today I'm making first contact with Encore. And this is a engine sampler of sorts. It is a way to get an approximation of how the new core engine for World of Tanks will run on your system. Again, they want to stress it's an approximation. The engine is still in development. Should be released sometime this year. Uh, I've heard March, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It'll be out when it's out. But anyways, I will have a link in the description below. This is a standalone application that will allow you to sample the engine without having to be on the sandbox server. This isn't really new. I'm kind of late to this. It's been around for a little while now, but I just found it. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought I would share it with some of you that probably aren't playing World of Tanks uh, if you're curious about what they're doing with the game. Anyways, if you have any specific questions, you want to check out their FAQ, especially this one here. Why does Encore assess my PC performance using points and not FPS? It will uh, give you uh, the rundown on the scores that they provide at the end of the test. But anyways, we're going to minimize there. I will be running an external FPS monitoring uh, solution. It's built into my display, so you can't actually see it. It won't record. It won't capture through my current software. Um, this is the system that I'm running this on. Uh, the CPU is a little older, older uh, six core i7 that I got probably in 2013. It is overclocked to 4.2, I believe right now. So that's just the base clock. Uh, the newest thing in my machine is of course my EVGA Superclock Black Edition GTX 1080 Ti, 11 gigs of RAM, 16 gig system RAM, and then Windows 10 as my OS. Uh, you've got previous test results. These were my results without running things in the background. This was during a live stream and this is uh, with some recording software running. So you can see that it takes a little bit of a dip there due to CPU usage. Uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we're running the proper resolution for whatever reason. It defaults to 1080. I have a 2560 by 1440p display. We can mess with the anti-aliasing. I'm going to leave that there. These are all of the settings based on these presets here. So minimum, medium, and we'll be running it at ultra. You can play around with that. And I think we're good to go. We're going to hit test. And so this is the redone uh, Abbey map. You'll want to pay attention to the new textures and shader effects, uh, tessellation, water effects, uh, introduction of havoc physics, this, that, and the other. Uh, needless to say, it looks pretty great. Already a massive difference. Showing off the Havoc physics. Getting about 120 FPS here, 112. Dipping maybe into 105 once in a while, 130 here, 104 right there. Here we're getting an idea of the new water effects where your tanks will get wet. Tanks will get dirtier. They can go in the water, wash off. They'll dry over time. More Havoc physics. Texture work, you can tell here with the bricks, just a lot more detailed.
course, new music as well, I believe, being introduced to the game. Look at the ground. Look at the stonework. Quite a big difference there. Uh, no doubt about it. Again, they've been uh, redoing the tanks for some time now with what they call HD tanks, more higher uh, resolution or, or poly count vehicles, better texture work and techniques that they've been introducing over the years. And now finally the maps actually match the quality of the tanks. So that's pretty nice. But anyway, they give you a result here. Uh, again, it's usually 22,000 for me when I'm not recording. Um, but here are some other potential uh, medallions for scores that you can get. I always thought it would be funny if this one was actually a potato. <laughs> that might offend some people. But uh, I thought that that might be funny if they implemented that. Uh, you can also go into your test results like I showed you. But if you want to brag to your friends about how cool you are uh, with your system and make fun of their potato, you know, you can just... Uh, send them the screenshot that it provides for you. It has your system specifications there as well. And uh, yeah, it's really smooth. As I was saying there, I was getting about at the lowest with recording software running, I was getting about 100 FPS when there was you know, crazy things going on when we uh, were fighting with the mouse there, uh, some explosions and whatnot. It dropped to about 104 at the lowest. So that's not bad, especially considering... Um, the old engine's performance. There really doesn't seem to be a massive drop uh, in comparison to that. Now, they did improve Big World over time. You know, they added um, a new sound engine, which seemed to improve things. Or they did something with their sound that, that seemed to actually improve FPS uh, some years ago. And it's really smooth now, but uh, to be able to get this type of graphical fidelity out of the PC version uh, is going to be kind of nice. If you've been playing the console version, you'll know that they've been running on a, on a different engine that has some of these uh, effects already. Like you could go in the water in the console version and your tank would get wet and dirty and things like that. Um, so now we're going to get that on PC, which is really nice. It's looking pretty good. Um, you know, I'm sure the gameplay is still going to be what we're used to. I don't know if the engine is going to drastically change anything with that aspect of the title. Um, but in any case, at least it'll look a lot nicer and perhaps uh, put some ease to our grind if we are actually playing the game. But yeah, there it is. Again, I will have a link in the description below to check out the demo application. You'll want to see it for yourself. Obviously, YouTube video quality isn't going to do uh, the engine test justice it looks a lot better when you're seeing it on your own machine as opposed to seeing a video of it but hopefully this has been helpful to you really appreciate you joining me and i will see you on the next one